Welcome to this study of thinking through the word. We are in 1 Corinthians this week, chapter 1, and let's see what we can learn today. 1 Corinthians 1 begins with Paul. This is the from, remember, in opening letters, from Paul and from Sosthenes. That's the from. Now the two to the church, the church of God that is in Corinth, who is the church? Those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, set apart, made holy in Christ Jesus. They are called to be saints and not in isolation, though at Corinth, but together with all those who in every place call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. So there's a lot there, but even this week, perhaps, in your devotional study, uh, you could be reminded to pray for the nations, uh, those who in every place Pray for the missionaries you know and the churches they're building and the believers who are in them. Pray for grace to them and peace from God and from the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, verse four and following. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus. Now, what is this grace in Christ Jesus for. It was given to you so that in every way you were enriched in him. Now I want us to think just for a few moments about this phrase, you were enriched in him. This enriching ultimately is leading us to thanksgiving to God. God has done something for us by his grace. So God has done something by his grace for us that in every way we are enriched. We are built up, we are flourishing, we are established, we are growing, we are filled full in him. And this enriching seems to fly in the face of our attitude often. You might say, but I'm sad. And life is hard and we do battle the sorrows and sadnesses of this life. You might say, I'm lonely. I don't have close family or I don't have many friends. You might say, I'm failing. I'm struggling. I am not spiritually healthy. You might say, I'm discouraged. I'm not thinking right. I'm I'm easily overwhelmed. You might say, I'm weary, I'm tired. But somehow all of those expressions of where we are at any given moment, emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally, all of those expressions of our status in the moment must meet 1 Corinthians 9 and verse 5, which tells us that in every way, We are enriched in Christ. And then he begins to unfold it in all speech and all knowledge. Even as the testimony about Christ was confirmed among you, so Jesus Christ enriches about Christ. That's where the enrichment is. All speech, all knowledge, enriched by Christ. So everything you hear said and say should be filled full, saturated with Christ. All knowledge takes on 
uh, a fuller understanding when we see Christ as the source of all things, of all truth. This enrichment, not only in our speech and our knowledge, but this enrichment reveals that we are not lacking in any spiritual gift. In every way, enriched in him, in all speech, in all knowledge, you're not lacking in any spiritual gift. This enrichment enables us to wait. And it's not a twiddle in our thumbs, it's an ongoing waiting, waiting for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. But this waiting is likened to the next phrase, you will be sustained, that's part of the enrichment. And again, sustained to the revealing or to the end. There's the end and all the way there, enriching. Ultimately, look at this enrichment. Verse eight, guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ guiltless. This enrichment is by the grace of God, but it is an eternal enrichment. The grace of God that draws us to Christ Jesus so that the testimony about Christ is confirmed among us is an enrichment that lasts for eternity. Guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. You say, I don't know. That that does not sound like my life. Well, look at verse nine. God is faithful. After saying all of this, our thoughts tend toward, oh man, I don't know all speech and all knowledge enriched, not lacking anything spiritually, waiting and sustained, guiltless. How is all that possible? It is possible because God is faithful. God is faithful. And God, by whom? God is the one who called you into the fellowship of his son. Now see that this word, fellowship, you're called into the fellowship of his son. Originally, it was said by grace in every way you were enriched. So you were enriched by God's grace. And that enrichment is the fellowship of the son, Jesus Christ. In other words, you can't have enrichment without the fellowship with the son. There is no enrichment without Jesus Christ. The person of Jesus Christ is the source of your enrichment, of your flourishing, of your blossoming, of your growing, of your being filled full. So everything in verses five through eight is possible if and only if you fellowship with the Son. And so, fellowship in the Son. Believe in Him. Trust Him. And know that God's promise in 1 Corinthians is to enrich you and sustain you as you yield yourself, as you give yourself to the fellowship of His Son. You were called into it by God's grace. That's your salvation Now live in the fellowship of his son. Press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Grace and peace to you as you press on.